see the disruptive influence of fintech affecting the banking industry as well as your own business during the next few years? I don't see this as a, as a dis disruption to our business model at all. This is not the first time that, that something new pops up uh, on the techno technology side within the, the financial sector. We have seen that before and we will see that again. Um, right now um, it's, it's, it's fashion to talk about uh, uh, fintech and I'm sure that many of these companies will, will, uh, will also be here in, in uh, 10 or 20 years from now and some of them are offering really, really good service. But that can never replace uh, the, the business model that Hans Bank has built up with physical branches. People, they, to, a, to, a, to a larger and larger extent, uh, people or customers want to service themselves uh, via uh, different kind of digital solutions or via some kind of uh, different kind of, of fintech uh, uh, applications. But sometimes in, in their life, when they have a big decision to make, like when, they buy, when a customer buys a new house or wants to start a, a, a pension planning, then they like to sit down with a, a person and talk to that person face to face and a person who knows their economical situation. And that can never be replaced by, by robo advice or, or, or things like that. Fintechs would be a good thing for the Philippines because they will only expand the market. That's the only way to, I mean, the only way to reach the unbanked section is through digital banking. And the fintechs are very good at that. And for us, we can learn a lot from them. And if the market that gets disrupted, it's an opportunity for us to expand our market share in a major way. So that's how I see the role of fintechs in the Philippine market in general and us in particular. No bank in Africa will survive without embracing fintech. This is going to define the future for, for, for African uh, banks. Because, as I said, there are many disruptors because the, the, the market, the African uh, financial market, is uh, actually has an opportunity to leapfrog into the digital banking. And digital banking is the future. It's the future because you are reaching people who had no communication, people who really need the service but who could not access it because the way the traditional banks had operated. So I think the disruption has been there, but for, 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 for the CRLB Bank, we have always said this is where we are going, and our strategy is to create a robust and improve on our digital systems, make digital banking the mainstream bank. And the model is, that is the model really.